Let's go to Romans 1, 18 through 32. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. You may ask me, hey, Kevin, what if there are people who never heard of God? If they die that way, will they still go to hell? Let's go to, or let's read. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. So what is that saying? There are people who know right from wrong, but they still choose to do wrong. God's wrath is on those people. 19. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shewed it unto them. So what is that saying? They have the knowledge of God. They have knowledge of God. Okay. 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So what is that saying? So by creation, we know that there is a God. And since you know that there is a God, it is your responsibility to learn more of them. I really hope that makes sense. So we know that there is a God because we see the moon, stars, the sun, trees, plants, animals, so on and so on. So now that you know that there is a God, it is your responsibility to learn more of God. If you don't, that is on you. So everyone knows of God at 21. Because that... When they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. So you know of God, but you still choose to do wrong. 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. What came to my mind is atheists. They believe that they are so wise. But they believe that there is no God. How can you be wise and say that there is no God? From what this is saying, you are fools. Anyone who does not believe in the one and only true God, from what this is saying, you are a fool. 23. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible men, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. So what is that saying? You know that there is a God, but you are serving things that you have made, statues, stuff like that, and you serving, serving and honoring, praising these idols more than the one and true only God, the one and only true God idolatry. So stop praying to Mary. Stop praying to Peter. Stop it. That is idolatry. That is a sin. Only praise God. Only. <sighs> My God. Okay. 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So since you know of God, but you still choose to do wrong, he is going to curse you and you are going to do things in the end you are not going to like because it is a curse. 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. So you are serving these idols more than God. You are serving money more than God. You are serving your wife, husband, kids more than God. Idols. 
You are supposed to serve God more than anything else. Anything that you have first in your life that is not God, that is your idol. So carvings and images are idols as well, but anything that you put first in your life is an idol as well. So statues are not the only idols. Okay, where am I? Lost my place. 26, I believe. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Homosexuality. Women with women. Many people believe that it is something they want to do, but from what this is saying, this is a curse. 27. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error, which was meat. So homosexuality is a curse. You may think that it is something you want to do, but it is a curse. And you are going to receive more bad things. When you know that there is a God, but you still choose to not serve him, many more bad things are going to come your way. Okay, 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind, a cursed mind, a lustful mind, to do those things which are not convenient. So you are doing things which you think that you want to, but really, you are cursed. In the end, you are going to hate these things. There are people who are alcoholics, drug users that want to quit but they can't why is this perhaps in the beginning stages when they knew that these things were wrong but they still chose to do them a person can say hey maybe they have been turned over to a reprobate mind let me say this though you can get out of that curse you just need to seek god more that's it. Okay. 29. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, 30, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. 31. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. 32. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So as you can see here, when you don't serve God, when you know that there is a God, many more bad things are coming your way. So you are going to do things that you really don't want to do. You may say that you want to do them, but in the end, you are going to hate it. Because what a curse does it may not seem bad right now, but the more you do it, the worse it is going to become. Then it is going to get to the point where you want to change, but it is going to be so difficult to change. So what am I trying to say? Give your life to God now. And if you are at this spot now, 
I am going to post something on this video so you can read it and follow it. God bless.